Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. Today we are working on menu book 19 and also 20. We've got three races, which are the Japanese rally based car challenges. We are going to be in America for Trial Mountain, in Asia for the Kyoto Driving Park and Mount Panorama Circuit. And we're also going to be looking at menu book 20, which is all about fitting a custom wing. So let's get into the video and we're going to head over to the Americas for our first race at the Trial Mountain Circuit. Now this is a race where we are going to try and win the WRX. We've only got two cars that we can actually enter into this, uh, neither of which I would particularly put down as rally cars, but I guess these are road and off-road rally cars. So we'll go with the, uh, with the GTO Twin Turbo. And we're up against the Yaris, the GTO Twin Turbo. So that's the same car that we have got and a couple of others. So let's just get into this. This is uh, a race where we need to get third place or higher. Two laps. And yeah, let's see how we go. At least it's not wet, which is quite nice. And we are on a track that we know. So we're just coming down into this little complex. We'll take it down to third gear as we go over this rise. It's a bit up and down, a bit like a roller coaster through there. And as we get down this hill, we just need to get the, uh, get the power down so that we don't overshoot this corner. And then going through the tunnel, I'm probably going to stick with third gear just so that we can hug the inside. Just a quick change down to second just to get it turned in there as we were catching up with Mitsubishi a bit quick. Get third gear through there. We're going to stick with third gear through here down to second for this corner. Just overshooting a little bit to get it, get it around. Dropping it down to the second gear help there. Go around this corner just watching for this Lancer that we don't catch up with him too quickly. And then we want to try and take the inside of this corner as we exit the tunnel. See if we can do him on the inside. Yes, we can. Nice and clean. Got up to third gear as we go through there as well, just to, to get the traction and make sure that we don't spin it out. And we are up to fifth place already. Dropping the cars behind. And we are four seconds and catching the cars in front. I'm thinking about this braking point in this particular car. Uh, probably going to go at the beginning. Just leave it to that, that little sign at the right hand side. Um, just working on these hatchings, trying not to go too wide. Yeah, I think the, the sign at the right hand side of the road there is probably the best place to break as we come in into that, uh, to that tight left hander after the tunnel. Uh, just keep that in mind for the next time. So just, um, just balancing the throttle through here, trying to keep the, uh, the speed up. We're two seconds behind the car in front now, six seconds off the leader. Only two laps this race, and we are coming up for the end of this one. We've just got this, not quite a chicane, but it's a very tight left and a right. So watching for a breaking point just after the beginning of those curbs, closing up really quickly on the back of the Subaru, thinking about how we might be able to overtake. Can we come underneath? Oh, he broke on the corner. Was not expecting him to break that hard. Got to get used to these AI cars breaking that, that heavily in the middle of corners. Uh, but we did get that, that move done. We're now 1.3 behind the car in front. If we brave through here and break a little bit later, see if we can carry a little bit more speed through here, and maybe we might be able to close up and do something. So third gear to get over the top and leave it in third for the moment. Yes, we can do that one. Can we get inside the white Subaru? He's closing the door, no leaving a little bit of room. Just managed to put that up the side. That was nice to get second place. Just checking the radar to make sure that they are behind third gear through here to have the inside drifting wide. Just carrying a little bit too much speed through there. Too anxious to catch up with the car in front. Now, the car in front is five seconds ahead, over nearly five and a half seconds ahead. And we have only got a little over, well, probably about three quarters of the lap left so we are going to need to get on with this we need a good exit through here 
to get up into third gear as quick as we can. Let's just hold it into second for the moment for the okay, then we'll get to third. Second gear just to get the power through there. Possibly should have been third. And then we've got this long, long drag. And as I said in the last lap, just thinking about the braking point. Gotta watch out for that white side on the right hand side and see if we're brave enough to hit the brakes at that point. Uh, it's gone a little bit deep, a little bit deep. It'd be nice to have cut the corner and gone across the hatchings a little bit more, but we have managed to make up some time on the car in front. 2.1 at the moment, down to 1.8. Break through here, over the top, second gear, turn it in. Back on the power, gently, gently, up we go. Just get that up into third gear now. Braking for this corner, down into second, watching the apex. Oh, he's got a bit of a slide on through through the corner. Can we get a slipstream down here? Third gear. Oh, he's just pulling away a little bit. This has got to be a good corner. Do we go for the inside? He's going to shut the door on us. Oh, a little bit of a nudge. British Touring Car Championship move. That was a slight nudge. Managed to put it up the inside. Oh, a little nudge of the barrier on the way through there as well. Uh, it was the last corner. We needed to make that one stick. Uh, was it fair? I, I think so. The, the door was slightly open. We didn't cut the corner that much and we won it first. So sometimes you've got to take the opportunities as they come. OK, so first place for the first of the tests for this particular mini book, the Japanese rally base cars. And we should have now got our Subaru WRX, first of the three. This is a car that seems very popular with the daily races right now, so it's a great car to have in the garage. We'll almost definitely be putting a livery on that at some point uh, when we go online, which I'm hoping is going to be over the next week or two once we get these menu books completed. We're getting through them quite nicely now. This is uh, this video is 19 and 20 out of 39, and then there's a few extra menu books at the end to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, getting through these reasonably quickly now. So we need to come out of the Americas, and uh, I'm just going to head across to the garage, and I think we're going to jump in that WRX for these other two races. Uh, so where's the, uh, where's the WRX on? Let's just put these into manufacturer order. The data acquired will work. There we go. Puts in first. Data acquired was always going to be the option there. Uh, so we'll change into that car. Just go to the, uh, no, not into tuning parts. We do come out there. Uh, losing my way, getting too excited now. Into the tuning shop. And we will do our usual. We'll pop the weight reduction on the stage one and stage two. And then we'll head across to stage three in semi-racing. I'm not sure if there is a stage four, but we'll just check for that in racing. Uh, nope, not applicable. And we will grab the medium racing tyres while we're here. That's a fairly good all-rounder. Let's grab um, the racing softs too. The mediums tend to be a good all-round tyre. For what we're doing and we're going to grab the carbon ceramic brakes which is my go-to for stopping power uh, those tend to be for those of you that have been following me you'll know those tend to be the upgrades that i tend to do when i first get a car there are a lot of other things you can do uh, but initially in particular for the uh, menu books uh, i tend to just go with the weight saving brakes and the tires and just to give you a little bit of a performance edge, I find that that's good value for money and it works quite well for me. OK, so we are at the Kyoto driving park scene of my biggest ever accident, which I did do a video on. I managed to do a 360 both horizontally and vertically. Never seen it done before. It's quite amazing. But there we go. Uh, let, let's keep our mind on the racing. So we are, again, we're at the back, 10th position, a track that we do know, um, we do love the S's on this one. So uh, can we do a move down the inside from Mitsubishi? 
Now let's go down the outside. Let's play it safe. We're going to try for a clean race on this occasion. So we go on the inside of the RS to get that done before these S's. Uh, overtaking through here, you've got to be pretty brave. You've got to pick your moment. And a lot of the AI cars will be braking sort of on or just before the, corner, the apex of the corner through there. So if you compromise your lines slightly, then you can pick up places. Uh, another car and the inside of the fourth place uh, that puts us into fourth. Looks like we're going to get third. Let's just come inside of that one. Third as well. So really, by the halfway through the first lap, we're already up into third place in this car. This WX is, is stunningly quick. We pulled up on the back of the second place super really quickly. Again, another audacious overtake on the inside there. And now we're chasing down the first place, which we're catching so quickly and a, such an easy move on the inside. Get it slowed down, second gear, turned in for this tight left-hander. And well within the first lap, we're done. Tenth to first. Uh, this car is quick, very, very quick. It's well planted, it feels great. And really, I'm only needing to work sort of third, fourth gears for some of these corners, not even needing second for a lot of them. Coming down into second for that one because it is quite tight, so the tighter turns we will be choosing second for. But straight up into third and then fourth very, very quickly as we go over the start finish line and we're just watching for this uh, long left hander third gear I think possibly through here just feathering the throttle as needed getting on the power early up into fourth as we come out out of the corner should be flat through the S's now that we haven't got any cars in front of us so we get up into fifth quickly keep the accelerator plant planted just watching the lines watching for the apexes I was suggesting fourth for the next corner, whereas I think we might be able to... No, let's go fourth. I wonder whether we could go through here in fifth, but we're so far ahead. Why risk the spin? Why risk it? So down to fourth and then uh, pop that uh, back up to fifth as we just come down the hill. Watching for a breaking point, just that little first white patch. Get it turned in, third gear through here all the way through lovely little line love that complex up the hill in fourth and we'll stay in fourth as we go around this tight right hand and getting up into fifth and then we need to get down into second gear for this tight left hander looking for the apex let it drift out on the exit get the power down as soon as we can up into third fourth we go fourth fifth Ugh, what gear went <laughs> up losing my train of thought here Oh, I had to feel that one through there. I don't, yeah, the gears were all over the place. I'm still getting used to the main gears. So trying to trying to call them out before I actually get to these corners is difficult. I'm, I'm like calling out, okay, we'll do this in fourth or third. And when you get there, it's like, oh, that's all wrong. Change, change, change. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you can watch the video. You can see which gears I'm using. You can see what I'm braking and turning and accelerating. Uh, the narration is not necessarily needed. Um, but yeah, okay, that was just another runaway. Clean race bonus as expected, really easy. The overtakes fell in great places for me during that race. Uh, in particular, the opening section through those S's. That's so nice to get around those cars. And, and having the WRX that is so quick and so planted uh, really does give you a lot of confidence around this racetrack. Not going to worry about the replay, so we'll just come out of there and then we will head over to the next race. So we did acquire our Yaris, so we're going to Mount Panorama in Australia and we are racing for the Mitsubishi Evo. So both the WX and the Evo, classic, classic cars. I'm really glad to have uh, the Lancia, Lancia Evo. And uh, yeah, did I put that as a Mitsubishi? Is that a Mitsubishi or is that a Lancer? I thought the eBay was a Mitsubishi. Maybe I'm thinking of a totally different car. 
the Mitsubishi Evo rather than the Lancer Evo. It is a Mitsubishi logo on the car. Oh, and I thought I knew my cars. Anyway, we are on this track now. A lot of people know this one as Bathurst. I love, love, love this track. And you've got this lovely long straight to overtake cars, get it buried. Actually, he buried the brake pedal a little bit early there. He probably broke, broke, applied the brakes at the 100 metre wall. I'll try that at the, at the next lap. Uh, through here, there is an overtaking opportunity if you are careful. So you just do those two cars. But through here, you've got to be ready to brake heavily before you go up the hill. Get it turned in third gear up the hill. We will just follow this around here. Normally I hit fourth gear just through here as we go over the top. Sometimes I'll leave it in third. I'm going to keep it cautious for now. Um, very often I will go up into fourth through there, but I was not too sure on where the cars were. And also how this car is going to behave around here. Uh, I've been running this uh, this course on my oh this track on my old profile in the Mitsubishi uh, in the Mustang, which was tail have, uh, tail light. It's all over the place but I love the way that that car drove. This one is so much more planted. So second gear through here. You can take a lot more of the inside there, but it, um, in the daily races, I think it was given a penalty. So I was just a little bit cautious uh, and just staying at the right side of the white line. So just, just trying to go, just trying to go negotiate these two cars. Wasn't sure where I was going, but left hand side, both of those two done down he'll go i do love that up subaru i had one of those as a in real life i had the the wagon version in green it's gorgeous but i had the most weirdest accident in it. Uh, i managed to to spin it coming out uh, out of a roundabout not particularly quick it was diesel or something on the road and it went straight across curves between two lamp posts and i three up in the car it was the weirdest that's ever shook me up massively but i did love the car so there we go, past another WRX. That is going to be on my wish list if we are not winning the older WRX. That will be one of my cars to buy uh, if we don't win one at some point. But at the end of the first lap, we are in first place. I haven't really been talking too much about this, this track, but uh, second gear for the first corner. We get this long drag, just, just staying out to the right hand side there, using all of the road. Just be careful of the grass at the end of the curve. It can catch you if you're not careful. As we go underneath the bridge, you then start to just think about your braking zone. So I'm watching for the 200, 150, and buried it just on the 100 meter board, getting it turned in. That was about right. Third gear, loads of curve up the hill. So we're climbing up the mountain now, what we refer to as the mountain. Fourth gear, carry it through onto the left hand side, drift out third gear for this corner, get it turned in. So that third gear is going to be a bit of engine braking. Hugging the inside as we go up the hill here, climbing up. There we go, fourth gear. Like I said, normally fourth gear when I'm racing. I've got the confidence in this car now. This is so planted, this is lovely. Fifth gear through this section, or oh, just a slight visit to the wall there. This one often catches me out. I often end up in the grass and then in the gravel on that corner. But this Subaru is so planted, beautiful. Down into fourth, third. Just going to grab second gear in a moment. Getting it turned in, just taking a little bit of that curb, like I said, to the just the inside of the track there. Like I said, the, 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 when I was running the last the the last lap. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking about what I'm doing here, uh, rather than talking, just really don't want to mess it up at this stage. So second gear at the end, and then, yeah, I can relax a little bit. It's just third, fourth, up into fifth, down this long, long, long straight. Sorry, I really didn't want to mess that bit up as we were coming down the mountain. So it's got this really fast right hand up. And then we're watching for the 150 meter ball, bury the brake pedal. It's a little bit late. No, actually it worked okay. But it's turned in, get this around on the right hand side, underneath the immoral. And we're looking for 100 meter boards. That felt a little bit early, had to come off the brakes a little bit. 
So we could be breaking maybe the 75, maybe even pushing the 50 meter board on that. But we're coming over the line nearly 13 seconds ahead of the second place person. This Subaru WRX is just amazing. I don't even think I needed to do the weight reduction option. I mean, I'm glad I did, but I don't think. Clean race bonus again. I really don't think that I needed to, to be perfectly honest. Uh, just loving this car right now. I can see that this WRX is going to be a car that I... Uh, that I'm, it's going to be a go-to car without any shadow of a doubt. It's going to be a go-to car. Okay, so collector level, we are coming up. Oh, not quite 22. That's just a little nudge further. We can only go up to maximum of 50. I don't know why they cap it at 50. Uh, it bugs the life out of me. Uh, so I'm not worried about the collector level, if I am perfectly honest, because I know that we're going to get to 50 very, very quickly, especially when we start buying cars ourselves. But at the moment, we're only buying two or well, three cars I bought. Uh, I bought the, um, the little Japanese car to start off with the was it the Alto? I can't remember what it was now. Uh, that one was bought. Then I bought the Bugatti, which was an invitation car, and then I bought the Sierra Cosworth. So other than that, uh, we're up to collector 21, almost 22, uh, just on freebie cars, cars that we've won. And if you want to see the cars that we are winning, I did a review of all of the cars that I won at the end of the licenses recently. And I will be doing another video of the cars that I've won at the end of the menu books. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit that notification button for a notification of when that video is released. But there we go. Those are our three cars. The Yaris, the Mitsubishi and that fabulous, fabulous Subaru. So Luke is just taking us through a little bit of information about the cars that we have acquired. Uh, but they are some, well, I'm not so sure about the Yaris, to be quite honest, but the other two are awesome. And yeah, I absolutely adored the older Subarus. I remember Colin McRae. There we go. There he is. I remember Colin McRae just smashing it out of the park on the RAC rallies. Uh, just amazing to watch him do that. So menu book number 20 is to show your custom wing. I think all we've got to do for this is simply put a wing on a car. Now, clearly, I'm not going to do that on the Subaru WRX because it has a very iconic wing of its own. So, yeah, we've got to go to GT Auto and fit a custom wing set. So I think we'll do that before we close out this, uh, this video. Um, but we're definitely not going to be changing the wing on the Subaru WRX. That would be an absolute nonsense. Uh, we suggest the Nissan R32. Okay. So it is actually suggesting a car to do it on. Um, yeah, definitely not going to change it on the WRX. I mean, that box wing is just iconic. It's a bit like the Wildtail on the... Sierra Cosworth, you know, that is a wing that you would never, ever, ever in your wildest dreams consider changing. Uh, those two wings make those cars iconic. So we'll go back to the garage and we'll have a little look at what we've got. Um, okay. So we've got that. Yeah, we're all using this and R32. That works for me. So if we go into car customization. Uh, we got wheels, paint color, custom parts. You know the one that you've got to go to because it has that little orange symbol on it. So we got a front. Oh, okay. We'll go for a front splitter. We'll put some side skirts on it. Um, oh, I'm not really matching this up very well. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the black to match the front spoiler. I uh, guess we ought to... Oh, that's a bit audacious, isn't it? The trouble is, if I'm going to go for the black on the front and the side, I've got to go with the 
the black on the back. And then we're into our custom wind set. So you've got A and B, which you can fit, but we've got to go for this, this custom one. So we've got to, uh, the wing can be, uh, that one's a medium one. We've got low, medium, and high. That's low, medium, uh, there. Okay, I'm going to go with the medium. Actually, no, I, pre I prefer the low, actually. Yeah, low looks much better. Loads of different end plates. Um, not sure it works without an end plate. Some of these are a little bit big and blocky. For me, one or two of them seem the wrong way around. Uh, okay, they just look, ugh, that one's a bit leery. Oh, that one's interesting. No, definitely didn't work. Yeah. I think, um, those look quite nice, but I think I want to go with something a little, little less ostentatious. And the black on that works with the rest of the spoiler kit that we put on there. So I think we'll go with that wing. Um, it's equipped, it's installed, fit this part, yes. Uh, I don't quite know why we've still got the little orange symbol, but let's come out of that because maybe we just haven't finished the purchasing of it. And if we then just come out of here, okay, we've lost the symbol now. We go back to the cafe. So another challenge successfully completed. It does look completely different with the wing. Spoilers do set cars off really, really nicely. I had a Mark 514, a red one back in the day, and we just put a low boot spoiler on it. It was just a like a foam one, like a rubbery foam colour. It really set the car off nice. We put front spotlights on it to completely change the look of the car. OK, so we've got a three star roulette ticket uh, as a reward for completing that many book item. And then we're heading off to menu book number 21 in the next video. So thank you ever so much for following along. Hopefully you have enjoyed and you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. In the meantime, thank you ever so much for watching. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.